I think the New Zealand dollar is one of the easiest currencies to trade, I guess because not many people in the world are interested in it. So if you're trading sterling against New Zealand dollar, the trends in my experience tend to be a little bit easier to trade. Not guaranteed, but I think in my experience that they tend to be. This is New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, for instance. Perhaps I should have put yen, New Zealand dollar, yen kiwi. Okay, and you can see, and the green arrows are where uh, our indicators for momentum have suggested buying in or selling short. And you can see that uh, it's not too bad. The green lines, by the way, represent the entry point. The yellow, the stop loss, never add to losers, losers add to losers, make a note of that. The dotted line is where we add, winners add to winners, so you add to your winning position. How do you do it? Well, the same way you opened your original position. You hit buy and you tell your broker you want to buy. Okay, uh, if you don't want to say buy, 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 then just follow the links in the biog, like for more, and we'll make sure every time we post a video that it's sent to you. Thank you very much.